In this video, I'll cover wall framing with variable stud size and spacing. Spacing for wall framing can be managed in Chief Architect two ways. The first method is at the plan default level where you can define the spacing and thickness. The second method is through the wall type definition where the spacing and the thickness can be defined based on the wall type settings. You can then use specific wall types for your designs as your framing needs require. In this sample plan, I'm showing five different wall types. Let's take a look at each. Wall type number one is an exterior wall framed at 24 inches on center. If I open up this wall by double clicking on it, you'll see the wall type is a siding six. I click the define button, you'll see this wall is composed of several layers. The main layer is a fur framing layer and down in the material information for this framing, it's checked that it's framing, the type is lumber, the spacing is different than the plan default, that's why there is not a red check mark showing that it's 16 inch on center for the entire plan, so I've set the framing to be different than the plan default at 24 inch on center, and then also the width is set to be one and a half. Note there is an option for horizontal framing when you do have those conditions. The second wall type, as I double click and open it up, is an interior six wall type. Click the define button. Much like the other wall dialog, this one has three layers. For the framing material, I have colorized it slightly to be a little bit darker. And in the framing information, it is set to also be at 24 inches on center. The third wall type, as we take a look, is a two by four, 24 inch on center. And again, once we double click, and look at the information on this wall, you can see that for the fur framing, again, I've lightened the material slightly, it is set up to be also at 24 inches on center. For the fourth wall type, this is a two by four, 16 inch on center. Double click to open up this wall type. And just like we've seen previously, you can see that this is set to be 16 inches on center. And finally, on the fifth wall type, this is a still wall. Click the define button. Down in the steel framing area, you'll see that the framing type has been changed, in this case, to a C-channel, and then the spacing is set to be 16 inches on center. Let's go through the steps of creating a new wall type and a new material for the wall. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the interior wall tool, and I'm gonna click and drag through the front of the design to create a new wall type. This is using my default interior wall. I'm gonna double click to open up this wall. I'm going to click on the define button and then I'm going to create a copy of this wall and I'm just going to go ahead and rename this to a remodel wall. For the framing material I'm going to change the color of it so I'll double click on the texture panel. I'm going to come down select fur framing make a copy of this and I'm going to rename this to fur remodeling. Change the color I'm going to select one of my favorite green colors Note that it's blended, so you see a preview of how that will bleed through the framing material. And then for the framing information, let's go ahead and change this to use the default, which would be 16 inches on center. Close the dialogs. And now you can see that I've created a new wall type in here. You can see on the right-hand side of my screen, we have green framing. And if you take a look at this example, I've used this remodel condition colorize the walls both in a 2D view and a 3D view so that it will clearly show the new versus the remodel project. That wraps up this framing video for variable stud sizes and spacing. To learn more, please see our other videos as well as our built-in help file. Thanks for watching.